I'm Ted and welcome to my world of modelling. Uh, the model I want to show this week, I think I'll call Smuggler's Hideaway. For obvious reasons. It's a slightly similar theme to the one I showed you yeah. a few weeks ago, but with a just if you added a few extras. So we've got the oh, light out. the light out. I think this is a little bit more realistic. It's like a proper um, yeah, me me mechanism. Well, it's it? a bit works a bit more similar to the real thing, I think. Anyway. I've got a different mechanism at the back. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Pin gears. They're fun to make, actually. And of course, on this same. Did you notice the little smugglers by the way down there? With his treasure? Yeah. Think of that. That's quite effective, isn't it, with the lights? Do you like it? Looks good, doesn't it? It's very quiet this uh, this model, and it's yeah, normally it's, used to um, yeah things a, whirring and I suppose you get a bit more idea. <laughs> you do something long enough. What do you think of the hotel? You've certainly got the different coloured lights in there. Isn't it? Yeah, it's fun actually. What's that, Admiral Benbow? The Admiral Benbow. If Is that anybody, a disco? Oh yeah. If there's anybody watching who uh, remembers Treasure Island. But now the idea was the the flashing lights, that's a disco. Can you say read the sign there? Dance tonight with the, the surfers. surfers. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, it's a single it's quite effective, isn't it, with the white flashes like that? I like it, it's um So it's getting the boards and stuff. You can't always get, you look at the, the magazines, you know, all the fantastic things they've got. When you actually go into the shop, they've sold out, or yeah. the one left. So, but I managed to get what I wanted this time. I think it looks quite nice like that. Do you normally use Maplins? Yeah. They're very good actually, if you get, the chap in, um, is it the boss in, um, Maplin Solio, he's brilliant actually. Yeah. He's very, very knowledgeable. And he's helped me no end. Like I said, I was a bit of a novice. I still am basically. Mm. But I've had a bit more each time. Coloured though, isn't it? It's nice with the different colours in the yeah. hotel. It, it now all looks very um, effective, yeah. All the wood you can see is driftwood, everything. Is that the Irish flag on the boat? It is. I think it's a flag they use as well for um, peace between you know, the north and south. So that's what I wanted to show. So everything here is driftwood? Everything is driftwood, yeah. I couldn't say what. I mean, I've got driftwood from all over. Abroad, actually. Yeah. I bought stuff back from abroad. In fact, I've even smuggled stuff in the suitcase. Really? Not from customers, from my mother. <laughs> <laughs> they made a mistake in getting back and forget to un unpack before she did. That's when I got the rollick in. So what's it look like on the other side? Not pretty. Like I say, I'm still in coming to terms with the electric, but... It works a lot simpler now, look. These on-up switches. Now that's what you cook. Can you see, is it, is it light enough? Yeah, these are what yeah. they call pin gears. Yeah. And these are, they're great fun to make. The only tools you need, but I'll just put these over here, look. All you need is um, a protractor and a compass. Now with these, there are 12 pins. So just about 12 into 360 degrees, you're left with 30. So that's basically how I did it. Put your protractor on there, mark off 30 degrees all the way around. 
and with the, the compass this side, that probably a couple of inches then what I did, I carefully cut that out and stuck that onto a piece of uh, wood, plywood yeah. that I'd already turned and then very very carefully squared across the line and mark it and then put them in the pillar drill obviously with a little square upright and set the depth so it will drill so far so each one will be the same then in this case I needed 24 I've used brass in this case so look attractive as long as you, you, you drill hold it square in your tool holder on the, the pillar drill then just dab the glue drop it in and those two are identical so yeah it will it will work, it just cannot fail to work. Oh look how nice that looks. It looks really attractive it's I think. Smart, isn't it? Yeah. Not difficult at all, just just like I said, but be accurate. You can't be sloppy and if you get it accurate and then you put it together like look how nice yeah, with the sense of achievement. And it doesn't take any great skill. Just work accurately. And what I'll do, if I do another one, and I'm sure I will, I'm going to do it the opposite way around next time because it's so difficult once you've built the model, then adding the electrics afterwards. I mean, look at this little. I'm going to like soldering and stuff, but it's so difficult when you do it. Like what well, I'm going to do it next well. time, yeah, difficult. I'm going to decide exactly what electric connections I need, and then I'm going to do it flat on the bench and try and do it quite neat. Yeah. And then incorporate it into the model so nothing gets in the way of anything else. I've just got to design it better. I mean this works. It works a tree. But it looks just a bit untidy. But it's functional, that's the main thing. Yeah. But generally you're quite happy with it. I am yeah, because it's fun to make. But each time to try I'll do probably do another one. Maybe not a size cap the next one. But uh Keep it. Yeah, I'm making these and working in the garden, it keeps me fit. Did you, your mum joined a keep it club once, you know? Really? Yeah. She said to the instructor, can you teach me to do the splits? And he said, well how flexible are you? And she says, well I can't make Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't think anything I've missed. This is an nice aspect, isn't it? I'm going to say it's all um, just all, all driftwood. driftwood. yeah, yeah. It's a nice little boat. That's real sand. Where's that come from? Actually, it's Cancun, New Mexico. I spoke with that in the Really? Well. Yeah. That's Mexican sand? Yeah, from Cancun, please. I think it can get in trouble actually. I think I mentioned this in the video I did once. I can't remember now. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think, yeah, I think yeah, it rings a bell now. Yeah, uh, now you mention like it. Like I it's only a small bay. But it looks it's nice, going, isn't it's it? going to good use, like yeah, in Mudlin. Yeah. I don't Still see what the problem left. is. Still got some left. But the trouble is, I've run out of, um, pretty well run out of driftwood now. Have you? Yeah. So at one time I used to make just sort of picture frames and mirrors. But now I tend to copy this, you know, do this type of thing more. Mm. I look more for the um, previously painted or man made, you know, flat. Yeah. And it's easier to build something like this rather than uh, in the round twigs and stuff. But oh, this is a great deal of fun, this is. I just like simulating the, um, the waves and stuff. Yeah. Do you like these? The, the wave effect. Do you like it? Yeah, it's quite, uh, looks quite good, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you see this little rum barrel? I made two of those. And when I took it off the lathe, I just offered the end up to my face sander. Put the second one up too quick. It shot across the room and I haven't, I haven't seen it since. <laughs> I spent 20 minutes making it. I searched the shed iron and I can't find it. 
Is it ricochet? That, well, is that a hand there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you didn't notice that, yeah. What it is, the, um, should I turn it more to the light? Can you see? Yeah, it's all right, yeah. Can you see the skeleton? <laughs> I didn't know. It might be a bit dark with that. But it was um, Should I put the light on? I think it's okay, actually. Now, what it was, he's one of these smugglers, but uh, it fell out with he's his mate. An old smuggler. Can you see? Yeah. He had a falling out with his mate, so unfortunately, uh, his mate buried him. Planted him in the sand. So do you know what you're going to be building next? I don't actually. Um, I love doing these, but I just might try something different. But I'm sure I'll work with the uh, light again because it just has another dimension. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, the electronics just, yeah. just give it something different, don't they? So, uh, well, I'll say goodbye, but before I do, I, this afternoon I shot um, a little video down the garden. this bird feeder. I had a couple of magical minutes last week just for a couple of brief minutes I had a blue tit chick, a sparrow chick and a robin chick all feeding together on this perch. If I'd have had a camera handy I would have loved to have got it on film. Probably send it up to night to watch on the telly. Still they're lovely memories. They smell divine. That's one sickly eyeser, trying to bring it back to life. Got my fingers crossed. Disappointed with the painting this year, running flared for about a week. Spectacular for a week, but then nothing, so hopefully better next time.
So that's it for now then. Until the, until next time, I'll say bye for now.